I'm out here on the street in LA for the game tomorrow. You know, Arsenal is going to play against United tomorrow. We'll and, win. And win it, versus United. Anytime yeah. these, two games, these two teams play, be the precision game, cup game, league game, is always massive. In the plane today, when I was coming down to LA, I saw some United fans in the airplane, and they said they're going to beat Arsenal tomorrow. And uh, it looks like it's going to be a huge game tomorrow for Arsenal. 100%. And the last few years, Arsenal has been having won over United. And I think this season, this summer, it looks like United are going to do some good things behind the scene and we do some good signings. Unfortunately, yes. Yes, yes, yes unfortunately, yeah. yes. Exactly. So, is fine. Uh, how do you guys feel about the game tomorrow? Um, Honestly, you know, we got a lot of young players playing. We got some players coming back from some big tournaments. But at the end of the day, United sucks, you know. <laughs> so, um, I think we got it, you know, because honestly, it's Arsenal versus United yeah, exactly. and we know they've been struggling Anthony players like that you know at the end of the day um, so I think we got it I don't know about you yeah, you, yeah, you, you, yeah, you, you saw us not play against uh, Bournemouth on Wednesday and a lot of players for the young boys yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess you are impressed but who exactly impressed you like one or two of them that really impressed you so, yeah yes definitely I mean I, I, I miss half the game but uh I'm, I'm really excited to see tomorrow. I think we're going to play a little bit more of the, the older guys and, yeah. and actually make it a match. I'm excited to see Odegaard tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Martinelli. And Martinelli. Maybe, maybe. I know you just came in. I know you just came in. But, uh, He's in no worries. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean, I'm just excited to see a good match. I want to see the, the EPL intensity. Oh, yeah. It's the first game. It's my first time seeing Arsenal wow, in person. Wow. So, so I Arsenal Man I couldn't ask for anything better. Exactly. You know, I came from Northern California to today and um, you know I'm, I'm here for the good match so okay, let me ask you the last two seasons as I've been trying to push City all the way and last season was barely two points I will miss out on the season do you think like what's going on this summer that uh, this season is going to be the, the season you know, what listen, makes you think so if you think that so what makes me think so that's a great question you know honestly it's that it's the the manager that drives us forward you know the manager uh, second place is not good enough you know like we're challenging city who's in my opinion the best team in the world consistently and so sometimes you know you gotta you gotta take your losses but then that motivates you the next year to get to go after more so we made we're, we're making one signing with uh Cala Gafori. i don't know this is Calafiore, you know, so and on top of that, we're making more signings so, to push us over the edge because, you know, we got a great fan base. In my opinion, the difference between, like, an Arsenal and Man City is they, they have the fans behind them, you know, the, the, the true fans that have been fans 20, 30 years, you know, so, honestly, this is the year. Okay, so let me, let me ask you, as a talk about a lot of Arsenal fans believe that we can sign a striker, but recently you guys have talked about signing Moreno the midfield and maybe Nico Williams. So Moreno, Nico Williams, or Moreno a striker. What would you think that Arsenal needs? Yeah, I mean, we 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 had Rice. And the Jorginho was fine at times, but we need we need the backup, we need the spine, which is most important. Nico Williams is a luxury, I think. I think we're, we're strong in the wings. A central striker is always nice, but I think we're getting goals from everywhere. And what, what really popped us up is our defense, and our defense is going to hold strong again. So we need the spine, and, and, and center midfield, I think, is a priority. We just got a great defender coming in, I think. Um, you know, striker is always great, but, you know, Nico Williams would be excellent, but we, we got some good wingers so i have an opinion that you know the last two seasons we have the issue with uh, thomas party and uh, gabriel jesus i'm on the opinion that if these two guys can stay fit for most of the season that's how probably win the league are you a bit initially some opinion gabriel's gabriel saying getting saying fit is, is what really hurts we, we, need, we need a little help you know we need help with injuries party you know with players like that i think that that's what will take us over the, the edge you know so Listen. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think you need, you, need, you need a bit of luck, and then and then you also need, and then we have the skill, we have the infrastructure behind us. Yeah. So, so I think it's there. It's, it's and then also a lot of our guys are young, so it's like one more year of ex experience. They had they've, they've taken the lumps. I think this is the year we get over the lumps, and then and then we uh, and we take it there. I, I hey, Mid Mid City's only getting older. I, right, right. <laughs> I Let me ask you before we go. As, kind of as a rival, I feel United are beginning to get it right behind the scene on the pitch. So are you, are you worried? About United? Yeah. About Manchester? Yeah. 
Okay. No, I, I hear what you're saying. A hundred percent. Absolutely. Um, but I think they're a few years behind us. You know, they bought players like Anthony, who I personally don't think they're going to be the one, you know. So, yeah, they've been making some good signings this summer. But I feel like as Josh said, our young team is we've we started to grow over the past two or three years, you know, and I feel like we're ready, you know, Saka, Saka, players like Declan Rice, they just play in the European finals, you know, so I feel like they're ready to take that next step, Saliba. Um, so, yeah, it, to answer the question, no, I'm not really worried about United. Maybe two or three years from now. Um, but right now, I think this is our time, you know. I okay. feel like, yeah. Okay, okay, guys. Thank you for having me. Hey, 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 um, we're about to sit today at the stadium. And, uh, hey, man. We'll be there. We'll be there, man. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, brother. Thank you.